from a legal angle. Again, if the president chooses to deny this story uh, tomorrow morning, local time in Switzerland, are there legal ramifications? We saw what he said in August, never gave it any thought. Yeah, and, and again, Bob Mueller may have documents, he may have emails, he may have other witnesses describing this episode. So I think there's a way to encircle the president. And if the president does give testimony, whether under oath or not, the president's going to have to tell the truth about it. But I think it's also worth pointing out, Brian, that this is now the third official who the president of the United States has asked, asked to engage in unethical conduct, and they have threatened to resign. Jeff Sessions actually threatened to resign. The president returned his resignation letter, said it rejected. Chris Ray was asked to carry out a purge of the FBI threatened to resign, the president backed down. And now we have his own White House counsel refusing to engage in the unlawful and unethical conduct the president asked him to do, and the White House counsel had to threaten to resign before the president backed down. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.